Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Ha Rakakwadash Ma'amath. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and their elders. Double honors to my elder as well, Aharwan Mayasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp. And salutations to the fellow Akim, Atwafi, and children that believe in truth and in sincerity. It's your brother, I thank you Allah. Back to another lesson. And Yahweh Ratazah is edifying. I want to start off in the book of Galatians, chapter 6, and verse 9. And let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. You know, and that's ultimately why it's important to endure until the end, strive and um, in this truth unto death, and the Lord is going to fight for thee. All right. Um, not knowing the time or the hour the Lord's going to show up, but we got to continue to be. Um, a part of this ministry and this truth being that we have received this truth as a gift as a blessing this is Sirach chapter 4 and verse 28 strive for the truth unto death and the lord shall fight for thee you know so you want to continue to strive in the ministry and the faith especially being that the lord gave it to you all right um and you you could still be a part of the congregation. You still could have been a part of the congregation of the dead. All right. That's why um, we pray Psalms 51. Take not thy spirit away from me. All right. Constantly, um, you know, uh, praying unto the Lord, man. You know, um, building upon that relationship. You know, um, hoping to continue in the faith. All right. Um, this is Revelations chapter 3 and verse 11 behold i come quickly hold that fast which thou hast that no man take thy crown right because there's a lot of uh deception confusion out here in the world and you don't want to get caught up in it all right as the scriptures say all right they they were very well if it were possible all right if they were very well deceive the elect but it's not possible so if you are the elect, you know, you're going to wake up out of that uh, that sleep, that darkness, eventually before the said measures be fulfilled, all right, before the judgment of the Lord. So, a hey, behold, I come quickly, hold that fast which thou hast, all right, this truth, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that no man take thy crown. I wanted to go into something. I think it was hold that fast G twenty nine oh two. Strong's G twenty nine oh two, Krateo. Krateo. And it says, to have power, be powerful, to be chief, be master of, to rule. And you know, um, sometimes we have to master ourselves. All right, be chief of ourselves, rule our spirits. Um, put forth discipline towards this truth, this ministry of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, because this is our sole obligation. All right, nothing else. Um, everything is second to this. This is not second to everything else. All right, to get possession of, and then I want to jump down mainly to the bottom to hold to hold in the hand to hold fast not discard or let go to keep carefully and faithful see to continue to hold all right mainly that word continue all right continue to hold to retain of death continuing to hold one all right you know to death all right as it brought out in Sirach 4 and 28 in the previous uh i want to go to the book of proverbs Chapter 22 and verse 29. See if thou a man. Salakia. See if thou a man diligent, diligent in his business. Salakia. See if thou a man diligent in his business. Because it's a question. He shall stand before kings. He shall not stand before men. Mean men. You know. He should not stand before mean men. You know. So you want to be diligent in your business. All right. You don't want to be among mean men. I don't mean mean and angry, but mean and cow shock, obs obscure, insignificant, all right, low, all right? So you don't want to 
put yourself among the unwise. Continue to be among the wise, man, and to do this work. And most importantly, let your light shine amongst men. The second Peter. Hey, because when hey, you let your light shine amongst men, they're either going to hate it or they're going to love it. You know, they're going to they're going to have to hate it to love it, man. They're going to have to get with it to get lost being the point. All right. Because ultimately, you got to stand upon something. All right. You stand for Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai. All right. They're going to know that. All right. And it's, it's, they, they got to take it or leave it. All right. And accept it, too. And that's ultimately what you want to represent. All right. An example, you know, provoke our people to jealousy. As this, as the scriptures say, um, trim not thy ways to seek love. But this is Second Peter chapter three and verse eleven. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversations and godliness? You know, you know, speaking about what what's what's coming to pass: the collapse of the dollar, the collapse of the economy. All right, um, World War Three. Hey, the names of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, what the people, all right, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, all right, the Israelites being that is, all right, is going to need for salvation before the oncoming dreadful day of the Lord. Verse 12, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth when dwell at righteousness. Right. So if you're according to the promise, if your name is written in the book of life, that's what you're, you're, you're that's what you're uh, seeking. All right. That's what you're looking after. man. You desire a new heaven and a new earth which dwelleth righteousness. Man, you don't want to continue on in this place. So you want to put forth what the, 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 the uh, righteous vibration of doing the Lord's will. All right. Teaching this truth. All right, if you are um, a man to prophesy, um, you know, um, the Akwafium and children that believe ultimately to they just believe, man. Um, watch, fight, and pray. All right, and ultimately that fight is through the spirit. But this is back in Second Peter chapter 3 and verse 14. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless all right so we want to be diligent all right so we can be found in, in peace you know you um happy is that servant he finds so doing you know roughly paraphrase this is the verse 15 an account that the long suffering of our lord is salvation even as our beloved brother paul also according to the wisdom given unto him have written unto you kind all right, because what Paul wrote these accounts, all right, these epistles, um, exhorting the brethren, exhorting the church, you know, to um, ultimately endure and continue in the faith. This is Second Peter chapter 1 and verse 5. And beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue and to virtue knowledge. And to knowledge temperance. All right. Virtue G703. All right. A. All right. All right. A. Strong's G703. Arate. Arate. All right. Tay. All right. Tay. A virtuous course of thought, feeling, and action. All right. Moral goodness, any particular moral excellence as modesty. All right. So you want you want to be of uh, your faith. You want to add to your faith, virtue and virtue, knowledge, ultimately grow in this truth. You know, um, that's ultimately the, the ultimate goal, reaching to, for that spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai being perfect and, and to knowledge, temperance and to temperance, patience. All right. And to patience, godliness, and to godliness, brotherly 
kindness into brotherly kindness charity for if these things be in you and abound they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our lord Yahushua mashiach you know so the main point is just being what diligent all right also patience all right um being moderate in this truth um not uh being weary and well doing getting uh weary all right um saying that the lord is uh the land is coming so keep enduring in the faith ultimately being the point jump down to verse 10 wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure for if ye do these things ye shall never fall for so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. 